given the size, it was optimized so that actually it goes in the ceiling, and it could replace uh, can lights, or it can be an, an installation where basically you won't notice big grills and big speakers. You will have a big sound, uh, but not really you know, an intrusive uh, audio system on your ceiling. Uh, we found that uh, very often is that the competitors didn't have a good frequency response. Uh, they didn't have, some of it had a very bad case of distortion levels. It was a clear direction on where to go. So the speaker, the loudspeaker is actually designed so that the tweeter will take care of the high frequency. And thanks to these features, you know, it's uh, optimal in the frequency response. But the woofer is designed so that it can move a lot. Uh, it has a very high excursion and uh, this helps into reproducing fully, you know, the full range. Whenever you have a coaxial configuration, you have your tweeter in this case in the middle of the loudspeaker suspended through a bridge. So this creates an area behind it that actually uh, has a, a resonance in cavities. At certain frequencies, there will be really bad cancellation in the frequency response at, at all angles. This was a must to avoid at all costs. And uh, to do that was actually a, a great idea to shift the symmetry of the tweeter in comparison to the woofer. And uh, this was done by moving slightly the bridge and uh, by designing this shark fin and uh, the dimples. The shark fin, uh, basically, as you can see, shifts the symmetry on the tweeter. And uh, the path that the sound has to go through uh, to then merge in front is going to be different at all angles. These dimples create a non-uniformity on the edge that surrounds the tweeter. Uh, what happens is the tweeter is creating pressure waves and the sharp edge here creates the small waves that actually goes back to it, canceling it, creating ripples in the frequency response. In order to have a smoother frequency response, you, you change this edge so that it's not symmetrical, it's not adding up all at the same spot and it creates a smoother frequency response. Although this driver uh, has a great sound, it's gonna be lacking bass due to the size. For this, if you want to have a full bass in your audio system, yet you don't want it to be intrusive, we do have a subwoofer that matches it, and uh, it has a tune port, uh, it's a passband, and uh, the diameter for the port is actually the same as the driver, so it's gonna be actually seamless. And you're gonna have a full sounding system in your room without being uh, even visible. <laughs> well, KDA amplifier would be ideal for this application. In this case, you could use uh, two channels uh, to drive the subwoofer, and the other two, you may connect a stereo system with uh, uh, two pairs of uh, each driver per channel. Each application is gonna be probably different. Uh, different room sizes with different ceiling heights. Roughly what the installer should look at is the fact that this one has a coverage of around 45 degrees. So you could evaluate you know, how much area you're gonna be able to cover. Given the size of the drivers, ours does an exceptional job. Uh, it has a very low distortion, so you can actually push it and we are louder we are sounding better than the competition. The sound is very clear, very present. It's really uh, an emotional kind of experience.